Hello ladies and gents, Azaka here, bringing to you another video for the English version of Naruto Online, published by Oasis Games. We are going to be looking at the event announcements for the 17th of January 2019, and we have a new Breakthrough Ninja, it is Kabuto, and a Trial Ninja, um, Ginkaku. Although it says Trial, I also think it also, also includes his um, subsequent Breakthrough, I mean like equivalent breakthrough, because breakthrough normally comes first before um, skill trial. Pretty sure skill trial is um, for the branch variation, which has the Y. But anyway, our weekly strong ninjas are also Kakashi Susanoo, Itachi um, Uchiha Susanoo, um, Sasuke Rene Sharingan, here is an Sarutobi, Sarutobi Edo Tensei. And for our first event of the week, we have Shinobi Feast. It has the <coughs> Shinobi Feast Recharge Rewards. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 21 in order to participate. During the event, players can get one chance to spend the wheel um, by recharging 100 ingots. It is... Apparently, Hashirama Senju Edo Tensei Fragments will be on the wheel. Each day, the spins will be reset to zero at 0 hundred hours, seven times, so don't miss out. I believe there is a limit uh, of 100 spins per day. Continuing on, we have number two, Shinobi Feast Lucky Feast. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 21 in order to participate. During the event, use ingots to buy packs and other items to get lucky credits. Lucky credits will influence your rate of being the winner in the lucky draw. Every 0 hundred, um, 0 hundred hours, seven time, lucky credits will be emptied and the system will choose seven lucky winners. Um, the more, the more your lucky credits, the higher the chance of being one of the winners in Lucky Draw. This is a cross-server event. Winners will receive their prize in the in-game mailbox. Number three, we have Shinobi Feast Arena Training. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 21 in order to participate. All the rewards can only be claimed once during the event. There is apparently a reward update. 10% and 20% discount vouchers apparently in the Arena Training Rewards which will be interesting. Number four, we have Eno Flower. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 11 in order to participate. So you are sweeping plot early instances and it will reward you with fresh flowers. Recharging 50 ingots will also reward you with a fresh flower times one. Gifting Eno fresh flowers will reward the player coins. After the event has ended, you will be rewarded according to the ranking, which is based on the amount of fresh flowers sent. Fresh flowers can only be sent until January 23rd, and the final ranking will be displayed for the f um, for four days. Players who want to be part of ranking need to gift 300 flowers at the very least. First prize is um, Tobirama Edo. Sorry, Tobirama Senju Edo Tensei times 80. Second. And third place gets Purification Breakthrough Pill times 2 and a level 6 Magatama Pack times 1. Fourth to sixth gets Purification Breakthrough Pill times 1 and also a level 6 Magatama Pack times 1. Seven to tenth gets level 4, sorry, level 5 Magatama Pack times 1 and an advance and advanced level refined rune times 8. Important Note, this event is not cross-server based. There will be first place for each server that meets the requirements. Very interesting, since actually the last time, I believe the last time, um, a similar event, I'm not sure if it was actually Eno Flowers, Eno Flowers, um, the event was actually cross-server, but the ranking board were displayed for server only, so there is that. But it does say it is not cross server based, so if Oasis does the flipperoo again, we may be looking at another uproar. But again, I don't think too many people are going to go for this one, since you need to spend 300, um, you get 300 flowers, you get about 50 across the 7 days, I think it's 50 or maybe more than 50, but 300 in terms of ingots anyway, 
Um, you need a recharge at least 15, 15k. So yeah, you need at least recharge 15k in order to get 300 flowers. Continuing on, we have number five total spending rebate it goes from january 17th to january 23rd players must reach level 30 in order to participate and of course with the total spending rebates um use the required amount of ingots to get um, rebate packs and the, your total spending will be accumulated across the event um throughout the event period Number six, we have Lucky Star Wheel. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 30 in order to participate. Spin the wheel to obtain a random prize. All players have a free spin at the wheel every day. Extra spins can be obtained by using coupons or ingots to spin the wheel. There is a daily limit of 500. Interesting, that re No. Sorry. I thought it was... I was about to say that it used to be 800, but that's actually a different wheel. It's, I believe it's the wheel, um... Wheel of Fortune that has a five and uh, not five hundred and has an eight hundred um, daily limit, but of course the daily limit is five hundred still. So use the obtained lucky stars to redeem um, their prizes. We'll probably s eh, it'll be interesting to see which ninjas are the um, primary, which would be the jackpot ninja, and the secondary. The secondary normally gets quite, you get the secondary ninja quite a lot, so maybe you can get two in one. But anyway, we got number seven, lucky board. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Roll the dice to move on the lucky board according to the points you obtain in the dice. Players can get the corresponding rewards marked on the grid. Complete plot or elite instances or complete daily missions to get free dice. You can get a maximum of two free dice every day. And dice can also be bought directly in the shop. Get five points for every time you move into a prompt grid and ten points for um, when you move into a function grid. The function grids are normally outlined in purple border. Um, besides the start grid, the start grid also counts as a function grid. After you have left the start grid though, for the first time, each time you pass the start grid or land on the start grid, you will receive a lucky ninja pack. Note, lucky dice obtained for this week's event need to be used this week. Once the event ends, the dice you didn't use will be reset to zero. Number eight, we have Fishing Mania. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 30 in order to participate. Log in every day to claim free bait once in the Fishing Mania interface, and uh, it will be refreshed at 5 a.m. Clear instances includes um, elite instances to have a chance of it dropping a bait. Use different bait, weak, standard, and flawless in their corresponding scenery to get different species of fish. Click Go Fishing to reach the destination automatically. Fish can also be bought from the shop. Offer your fish at Offer your fresh fish in exchange for fishing points. Use points directly in the fish market to redeem f for items and, I believe, ninjas. I believe uh, there are three ninjas and three items. That's normally kind of how the distribution goes. So, the points... or no, wait. Probably there's two ninjas, a summon, and then items. Oh, I press space. Anyway, the points ruling is herring times one gives you one fishing point, carp times one gives you three fishing points, um, catfish times one gives you five fishing points, and tropical fish times one gives you fifteen fishing points. Whew. Number nine, we have daily special. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 10 in order to participate. And honestly, I cannot remember the last time I've actually seen daily specials actually actually be present. One of the kind of sad things about daily specials is that it is impossible, like literally impossible, to get the 50% discount voucher. The 50% discount voucher is not obtainable in any way, shape, or form, which is one of the sad things that I don't like that Oasis is doing. Although the struct, although the um, although it, although it is supposed to be available, Oasis does not make it available. So have that at your will. So most of these prices are normally um, a little bit higher than than the normal prices. So 
be wary and be careful when you purchasing from the daily specials. So during the event, players can buy items apparently at big discounts. This um, this week, every new day will present new items with different discounts. Not with different discounts. Um, well, anyway, sorry. So it will just present new items every day that can be discounted. Sorry. You have to also remember that that although each day has a new set, the items will remain to be purchasable until the end of the cycle, but you cannot use your discount voucher on them. That's what I remember. But anyway, we have day one. It got Life Magatama level four, Attack Magatama level four, Ninjutsu Magatama level four, and tr Skill Trial Pack. Very interesting. Day 2 we have Basic Refined Rune, Medium Refined Rune, and Advanced Refined Rune, along with Special Charm Material Pack. Day 3 we have Purification Rune, Purification Protection Rune, um, Summoning Scroll, and Kakashi Anbu. I suspect Kakashi Anbu should only cost around about 8 to 4, 8 to 4 th um, thousand, roughly. I would, um, if it's more than 8,000, I probably would never get him. If it's below 4, probably it's a steal. But, um, but Kakashi Anbu is not really one of the used ninjas a lot. His mystery is non prompt, but he does have, well, actually, the only ninja that has the hidden, um, hidden stat, at, um, well, hidden buff. I'm not sure if it counts as a technical technical buff. I think it counts as a debuff. But anyway, day four we have seal scroll, seal scroll times five, and summoning scroll times ten, along with the speed of light fragments. Day five we have cave key gift pack, limited protection rune pack, and limited protection pack with lucky seals pack. Day 6, we have Life Magatama level 5, Attack Magatama level 5, Ninja Zoom Magatama level 5, and Summer Break Fragments. Day 7, we have Cave Key Gift Pack, along with Limited Protection Pack, Limited pr Purification Pack, Clothing Optional Pack, which contains Summer Youth Sai, Fragment Times 1, Ceremonial Kimono, Fragment Times 1, or Wild West, Fragment Times 1. And of course we have number 10, Refining Rebate. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 40 in order to participate. Players can get rewards when when refining times reach the requirements. This event's Refining Rebate will not provide additional wish credit. So of course with the Refining Rebates, um, it, you will get a rebate depending on, well, once the number of times you have refined, reaches the requirement to get the rebate. Number 11, we have time limited refinement. Of course, these two events are in, well, are always together nowadays. A long time ago, they used they used to be separate. Well, used to be, but now they're always together. So it goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 40 in order to participate. Players use refining runes to upgrade their equipment in the refined equipment in the strength found in the strengthen interface every time you level up your equipment to a new refined level you will receive free time limited wish credit free limited time wish credit will expire when the event ends the best way to take advantage of this event is to level a single equipment up multiple times making sure to use those free limited time wish credits number 12 is recruitment feedback. Draw from specific treasures to get more rewards in this event. Make the best use of your out of seal scrolls. Uh, blah blah blah, stuff like that. It goes from January 17th to January 23rd. Players must reach level 50 in order to participate. So, draw from the 5 Kage treasure, Great Ninja War treasure, Jinchuriki treasure times 1, sorry, not times 1, Jinchuriki treasure 1, Jinchuriki treasure 2, and the Edo. Oh. Edo Tensei treasure to claim rewards. Interesting that they basically put basically all the relevant um, all the relevant treasures because the seals treasure and the tendo treasure is basically no one pulls out of that. And of course, free free draws is not accountable. 
And of course, the well, the minimum requirement in order to get the best deal out of um, recruitment feedback is 264 seal scrolls. That way, you get a 66 um, seal scroll rebate and be on your way. We have number 13, which is confusing for me since I'm in the southern hemisphere and it is winter. I mean, not winter, it is summer here, but it is winter in the northern hemisphere, so the Ninja School's winter camp makes sense. So, it goes from January 17th to January 23rd. I can't... don't actually remember what the Ninja School um, winter camp is like, but players are required to reach level 20 in order to participate. During the event, log in every day to claim the assembly pack in the assembly tab. Open the pack to obtain random rewards. Packs can only be claimed once a day. Don't miss out. Each day, all players can claim a login reward after logging in and staying online for 30 minutes. Players who activate a journey medal can also claim an additional reward. Remember to claim it after being online for at least 30 minutes in the login gift tab. After clearing plot early instances and group comp plot elite sorry, plot elite or team instances and group convoys during the event, you can also you can get one random item from the winter camp event, which is the compass small map flashlight or pencil. Collect the items to redeem for various rewards in the exchange gift tab. Oh, oh yeah, I think I kind of remember now. So you get like a bunch of compasses, small maps and flashlight and pencils, and there's a bunch of redeemable items that you exchange these, a combination of these items for, um, for a bunch of these. It's a small thing, but again, it's, it's quite a, um, it's free stuff, so if you can do it, do it. Number 14, new packs are available in the purchase limit shop interface, which will probably be either seal scrolls or the refined runes. Number 14, uh, number 15, sorry, last but not least, lucky dies, weak bait, standard bait, lawless bait, herring, carp, carrot fish, and tropical fish obtained for this week's event need to be spent this week. Once the event ends, the lucky dies, weak bait, standard bait, lawless bait, herring, carp, catfish and tropical fish that you didn't spend will be reset to zero. And the same remark as every other week, the deadline of the new server events and the weekly events are set according to the player's local time, which is your computer time, not the server time. Daily missions and daily recharge event, the daily recharge event in which you get four star guard. Or I have a tenant. Four star guard. Which you get four star guard every right by recharging for five days are all refreshed at five service time so sorry miss out <sighs> that is all for this week it's very interesting that we are now getting some more um skill breakthrough and skill trial ninjas but my name is azakai have a nice day